Hello and welcome to, I'm going to guess, the 94th weekly vlog. I should know this really because, you know, this is supposedly my big comeback to the weekly vlogging game, but I don't know. <laughs> you can see my 21 balloon still. I still have it. Um, this one has not gone down yet. So um, it's just kind of living in the corner of my room currently, but oh well. Hello, it is Thursday. I wanna talk about my day and then I will talk about where the hell I've been. But today has been a really, oh no, let's talk about yesterday quick. No, maybe I should talk about where I've been, then yesterday, then today. Okay, so the last like, I'd say about two months now, I haven't actually vlogged anything apart from Disney. Whilst I'm gonna chat, I'm actually gonna get ready because I'm actually going out tonight. So, yes, I'm getting ready. So yeah, the last couple of months I haven't been weekly vlogging. I haven't really uploaded much on YouTube. Um, it's just been a bit, I've just been a bit unorganised about this whole vlogging thing. I have taken a little bit of time off from vlogging. And you know what? I really like the time off I got. It's been really nice not having to sit and talk in front of a camera. And, you know, when I saw vloggers take breaks before, I was like, oh, why are you taking a break? It's so easy. All you have to do is talk to a camera, then edit the video, and Bob's your uncle, you're done. But I can now, after like taking this break, see the importance of why taking breaks are really important. So I've had like a two month break from weekly vlogging, and it has been, it's done me the world of good. I feel so much better about it. I've actually now started to miss weekly vlogging, which makes me want to get back into it, which is why I'm doing this one. Um, plus there's actually quite a bit, I've had quite a bit go on this week, so I thought I would, uh, no, good excuse to get the weekly vlog back up and going again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this every week, um, because, you know, sometimes weeks are a bit boring and I do the same thing, you know, I wake up, go to work, come back, you know, so sometimes it's not what you want to do. But, I don't know how I'm going to do this at the moment, but for now, here's a weekly vlog. Let's just be happy that there's a weekly vlog. So what have I been up to these last two months? Well, in reality, not that much. <laughs> I've been mainly working. I work in a supermarket. I have a job. It earns me money. I've been doing a lot of overtime. Um, like, a lot. Because I like the money and I can do the overtime at the moment. So that's what I'm doing. So that's been kind of a huge part of my life at the moment and obviously I can't vlog at work because I work in a supermarket it would be inappropriate to pull out the camera and go look I'm putting out milk um so well you know if I see a, like a funny customer I can't go oh can you just do that again for my weekly vlog like I can't I can't I can't do that you know there's there's things you can and can't do so that's a thing that's happened uh recently is that I've been working a lot more than my like scheduled hours and so it's just not been like something you know picking up the camera chatting to you guys it's just not something that i've wanted to do when i get home and i know that's really bad but i think it's because i've been doing it for so long without really having like a proper break yeah i've had one or two weeks but like it's not really been like a break and i know this isn't my job as we all know <laughs> and i know like some people might say you know but the staff on the nhs don't get a two-month break I get it, I get it, you know, most people don't get a two month break, but this isn't my paid job, I do this for fun, so, yeah, no. It's not like I'm taking a break and still earning money, does that make sense? I don't know, I don't want to get into it, but yeah. I've had a two month break, it's been the best two month break, and I really needed it. And there was like, I started to hate vlogging and that's just when I kind of knew that I was like, I need a break. I still vlogged my two trips in Disney because by the way, I've been to Disney and back since, um, twice since I last vlogged and spoke to you guys on a weekly vlog kind of level. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been really, it's, it, it's been so nice having a break, but I have like the last couple of weeks I have started to miss doing the vlogs it's been like weird not doing them um 
but throughout like the majority of November I was like oh I'm so glad I'm not vlogging but kind of the last couple of weeks I've been like I really want to get the camera back out and start filming again and talking because I do love it so here we are I've had my two month break like I said I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the weekly vlogs things on a weekly basis or if they're going to be you know like a couple of months because of everything that I'm doing now like I'm doing stuff that's just not that fun and not that interesting and like after a long shift at work like a, a five or six hour or seven hour shift like it's not the first thing I think of um when I come I come home from work it's like oh gotta get the camera out gotta tell them what I did because literally the only things that I'm doing that I have been doing apart from Disney which I still did vlog is work mainly and I have been to a few blogging events but I've like taken loads of pictures and storied the event and everything so you know it's not it's not the same if you know what I mean but I'm back I'm excited to be back we're gonna make this even though I'm starting this on a Thursday we're gonna make this the best weekly vlog I can so here we go right let's talk about yesterday yesterday was the 12th of December and I don't know if you if you've been watching me for like a year you'll know that my grandma is obsessed with a guy called Andre Rio and last year we went to his concert in Wembley arena and we saw Andre Rio and it was just amazing and my grandma loved it and we did the same thing again last night we saw him for his Christmas concert at Wembley arena and those two old little old ladies had the best time honestly amazing was so lovely and they were they really enjoyed themselves i mean it was pretty much the same concert as last year not gonna lie there are a couple of different bits and pieces um but yeah i'm just gonna include a couple of good bits of footage that i filmed last night of them and of andre rio himself and yeah it's not gonna be very long <laughs> but it's just gonna be little bits and pieces <laughs> yesterday with my family my mum my grandma myself and my grandma's best friend were there and we just had a whale of a time it was good it was really nice to kind of watch them just be so happy and it's really nice seeing them happy for them not for us if you know what I mean it was it was enjoyable apart from I had the tallest man in the world sat in front of me and he just kept like leaning over like this so if i wanted to like look between his shoulders he'd lean over like this and today i've got a really like sore neck from the amount of leaning over i did to try and watch the bloody performance but anyway it wasn't for me it was for my grandma but there we go andre rio that's done for another year as, as much as like i enjoyed it for them it's not my favorite thing to do but i go because my grandma loves it and um it was an an okay experience it's not something that i would repeat without them if that's uh you know if you know what i mean so yeah that was yesterday today has been a really crap day i might look like i'm all happy as larry and all that but it was a pretty it's been a pretty crap day to be honest um we got home late last night we got home at like two in the one two in the morning um so i'm i was pretty tired today 
lunchtime today I get a phone call from my work. I'm supposed to be going this Saturday to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, Harry Potter, with my brownies and guides, just so that you are aware. Um, but yeah, I've been supposed to be going and as you, if you've been watching me for a while, I work, up, I work Saturdays and uh, we're going to Harry Potter Studios on Saturdays. So I need the day off and if you know retail, you know that this is the busiest time of year so they don't like giving time off. So when I applied for a day off for this, they said no, which at the time I was upset about. So then I spoke to my manager and asked to take it unpaid. And we've had a bit of a palaver about it. I don't want to go into it, but we've had a bit of a palaver. But don't worry now, guys, it's all sorted. I'm going this weekend. But it's just been a bit of a palaver. I'm not going to lie. It has been very stressful. But you know, there's been a lot of tears. I've been I've cried my heart out today because it was all sorted and then someone said something else and yada 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 i don't really want to go into it because it's work and i know i should keep work life and youtube and blogging life separate but like this has really got you know got on my nerves today it's been a really stressful day but it's done it's sorted i have the day off kind of <laughs> i have the day off um so it's just hella frustrating that this is a thing that's happened but I've spoken to a manager at work and they are fine with it so you know it just depends on the manager you talk to if you're having a crap day with one of your managers talk to another one because someone will sort it out and someone will feel sorry for you that you're crying your heart eyes out because someone said something and then they went back on it but you know but anyway you can see I'm putting some makeup on it means I'm going out tonight I'm going out with my fave form of bloggers I don't actually know who's going. I know Emma's going. We're going to the Slug and Lettuce in Bournemouth. They've opened a new one, if I am correct, up kind of by Horseshoe. I don't know if you're, you know Bournemouth, but it's by Horseshoe Common. They've opened that one. And I don't know if it's the launch or I don't really know what it is tonight, but there's something going on. And I was free, so I said, why not? So here we are. I'm getting ready. Um, I'm going to go pick up Emma and we're going to go to the Slug and Lettuce by Horseshoe Common um, and I'm going to go pick her up for the event. So I'm going to carry on getting ready and I'm going to bring, I'm going to actually bring you guys along this time. How cool is that? You guys are coming to an event again. Happy days. La 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 la. happy friday um yesterday evening at the slug and letters on old christchurch road is that what it's called <laughs> i'm not sure the slug and letters event last night was amazing i had so much fun you saw all the food we got and everything and then afterwards emma and i were still a little bit peckish so we went to um nando's and um, because i've got a nando's card um i clearly had enough points on my card for it to be a free meal which was amazing absolutely amazing so i had not only did i have the slug and letters event which was um like a blogger thing so it was a complimentary event there was also free parking in bournemouth because it was late night shopping for christmas so it was free parking then i got the free meal at nando's so last night was an absolute dream but I made up for all the money today because I went shopping 
Um, I, <laughs> I went because tomorrow I am off to the Harry po the Warner Brothers Studio tour making of Harry Potter in London for Hogwarts in the Snow. I'm so excited. This isn't a, I, I think I've, I think I've briefly mentioned this, but this isn't a blogger experience or anything. This, I technically haven't paid for um though because i'm going as a guide leader and so the brownies kind of or the brand the, well the guides pay for a lot of the stuff for me which is really great because i'm giving up my time so yay i have to wear guide uniform tomorrow but i didn't really want to i am wearing my guide t-shirt underneath what well, i will be i'm obviously wearing christmas today because it's christmas jumper day but I wanted to wear my guide uniform underneath a jumper, like a Harry Potter jumper, because I was like, I'm not going to come here again, um, or I'm not going to come here anytime soon. Uh, I'm not actually that into Harry Potter, so it's unlikely that I'm going to be coming again anytime soon. So I want some really nice pictures. Um, and then I also, this morning, I went to my niece's assembly, school assembly. They did a Harry Potter themed assembly, so it's very fitting I'm going this weekend. Um... They did a Harry Potter themed weekend. I'm gonna lie down for a bit because my arm hurts already. Move my wet wipes. Um, yeah, so, and I saw, and my niece is going to this guide event, she is a guide, and um, I asked her, do you have a Harry Potter jumper? Because she, she loves Harry Potter. And she said, no. So, I said, okay, you need to wear your guide uniform, but I'm also gonna get you a jumper today. So I went to Primark. And she is age 10, so she should be wearing, obviously, a 10 jumper. Um, and Primark do go up to, like, age 15 in kids' clothes. But trying to find a nice Harry Potter jumper in the kids' section was crazy. I went to Southampton, because it's a bigger store, and I thought, more chance of me being able to get something for her. And it was absolutely atrocious for the kids' Harry Potter stuff. So I ended up getting her an adult side. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to show you what I got her... And I'm also going to show you what I got myself because I went a little bit overboard in there. So let's start with what I got for Lily. So I went in there with the intention of getting her maybe like a hair accessory and a jumper. I ended up going a little bit overboard and getting her pretty much a whole outfit. <laughs> so to begin with, I got the jumper. This is from the adult section, but I got it in a 2X, like a, a, like a really super small. Um, I think it was a 2XS. And it's just, it's quite simple, quite plain. It's just this, like, it's got Potter written on it and it's got, like, a golden snitch. But obviously it's in the Gryffindor colours. It's got these little stripes down the side. This was £12. And it's, like, a really, it's tiny. I would not even get my leg, well, I could get my leg in this. My legs aren't that big. But, <laughs> like, in, like, honestly, I could not fit this round me. But, anyway, I got this one because the kids' ones were so bad. <laughs> Then I saw they had Hogwarts leggings in the kids section and I was like, oh my god, she's going to absolutely freak. And they're also so sparkly and they've got the little like Hogwarts crest on the kind of leg there. And then they've got Hogwarts written around the top and gold and silver sparkles down the side. I thought magical. These were £6.50 and I got these in a 10 to 11 so I hope they fit because <laughs> she's quite skinny. Um, and I just thought they'd be so cute. And at Guides you can wear whatever you like on the bottom so... I thought, let's go for something super, super cute. Oh, it's got black sparkles on it too. Okay, I th I hope she loves these. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what she's going to wear. She's. I hope she's going to like wear like um, a t-shirt underneath this because it's going to be cold. Oh, and her hair accessory. Lily and I got the same. We both got, I got these uh, little Gryffindor bows. Even though I've now decided I'm a Hufflepuff, um, I've still got Gryffindor stuff. So I've got a lot of Gryffindor clothes and... Um, I couldn't find a Hufflepuff bow, otherwise I would have got a Gryffindor and a Hufflepuff, but... So I got two of these, but this one is for Lily. And I also got her this super, super cute rucksack. Look at this. It's like little Harry Potter in, in the Gryffindor. Oh. This was £10, which is, you know, okay for a, like a tiny rucksack. I thought this would be perfect, and I might actually borrow this for a photo or two, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so yeah, there's my other um, Gryffindor bow so there's two of those so that's lily's stuff right and me let's start you can see this already look at this look at this beauty of a bag oh my god <laughs> do i need another mickey mouse bag absolutely not i've literally just thrown away some of my bags and yet i've just gone and bought another one <laughs> this was 14 pounds it's like a bit pricey for what it is but i really quite like it, it is a little bit like scratched in places um or at least it was when i saw it in the shop 
maybe maybe I actually managed to rub the scratches off but I just thought it was so so cute like I thought it was pretty subtle I didn't think it was in your face I don't need another Mickey Mouse satchel but I got one <laughs> it's only small like oh my god I could use it today <gasps> I might use it today okay right there we go there's that and let's delve and i also obviously got this for myself but let's delve into the second primark bag this is it you can see i've got bedding in there did i need another set of bedding absolutely not this is the mary poppins bedding and i love mary poppins so much so um yeah this had to come home with me it it's just literally got like mary poppins and a kite and mm, can't read what it says on there but it's mary poppins you can't really go wrong can you i love it and emily blunt's up there but i don't keep this bit but mm -hmm. i didn't need that that was 20 pounds unnecessary but i wanted it i did leave the throw though so i went that's a bit ridiculous to get the throw um so i got just the uh actual duvet cover and pillows and then we got some clothes didn't we can't help myself i got another striped t-shirt but this is a striped t-shirt with disney on it of course it's got a little winnie the pooh and he's holding a teddy bear look at it and it's got free hugs i adore this top so so much this was eight pounds i love like they put oh so cute um yeah this was unnecessary but again winnie the pooh is one of my favorites so he had to come home with me I got the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious jumper. I did just buy Mary Poppins jumper in Disneyland Paris, but I saw this and was like, well, you can never have too many Mary Poppins jumpers, can you? And I just thought it was really cute. And this was £10. So yes, this came home with me. Ooh. Ooh it's like a felt. I, did, I just thought it was a print. Ooh, that's nice. Last Disney item. Not the last item, but the last Disney item at least. This is another Mary Poppins t-shirt. And it's got the little penguins on embroidered on the side there. Thought that was really nice. And I don't, I honestly don't think you'd think that's Disney. Because that's the only thing on it. It's a grey t-shirt with some penguins on. So you could just think I'm a nutter wearing penguins in like the middle of summer. But it would actually be penguins for Mary Poppins. And this was £6. And then last, but by no means least... <laughs> I got another jumper for tomorrow because I can't decide what one I want to wear. I got this one because, like I said, I've now decided that I'm in Hufflepuff, not Gryffindor anymore. I did the Pottermore quiz and it said Gryffindor, but I looked at the traits the other day and I'm actually a Huff. I feel like I'm a Hufflepuff more than a Gryffindor, and all of my clothes, legit, like Harry Potter clothes, say Gryffindor on. So I decided that it'd be a better idea if I got a Hufflepuff jumper, but Primark didn't really have a Hufflepuff jumper that I like well they didn't they had one and it was a bit crap <laughs> so I left it there and I ended up going for this like generic Hogwarts one what I quite liked about it it's just got Hogwarts on it um, and it's got like embroidered up here the, like little symbols of the houses so if I decided that one day you know no I'm not a Hufflepuff or a Gryffindor I'm a Slytherin which I am not by any means but you know I thought I was a Slytherin I'm, I'm cool with this jumper same with a Ravenclaw and it's quite nice because I've got members of my family that are in all, like, that we kind of, like, my mum, mum and I the other day were quite bored. And we uh, looked up the traits for all four houses and we were putting our family members in which one. So, um, my grandma and I are Hufflepuff, my mum's a Ravenclaw, and we've got other members who are Slytherin and uh, Gryffindor. So I thought this was quite nice, keep them close, you know, and Hogwarts. And this was also £10, which is not that bad. So... I've got I've got three Hogwarts jumpers, like Griffin, like Harry Potter jumpers now, even though I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter. Um, but I thought this would be quite cool. So I'm, I'm just, I probably will wear this one tomorrow because this is quite nice and it's new. And um, yeah, but I've got one more that I'm deciding between. And I do have a second one, but I'm not going to wear that one tomorrow. But So there you go. That's my Primark haul. Now I need to get ready because I'm off to Haskins now for um an afternoon tea but it's really weird timing like afternoon tea in my head is like three o'clock but it's uh, actually set for five o'clock so i'm having afternoon tea at five o'clock with the bournemouth bloggers this is a blogger thing and then after haskins i am off to tonic social which i've been before but i don't oh no i did vlog it 
I think that was the last week I was vlogging. I was at Tonic Social um, for their launch. This time I'm going to be at Tonic Social for their Christmas little do thing. So that's going to be fun. I'm going with Emma and I'm also going with Steve, which is really great. Um, but I just need to get ready and I need to pick another top for... This is awful lighting. Um, I need to pick another top for Tonic Social because I don't think my uh, Disney Christmas jumper is going to be kind of appropriate for it. I feel like I'm going to have to wear something a little bit nicer. But yeah, I don't feel like any of my Disney clothes are appropriate. And underneath this jumper, I've got like a Mickey Mouse Christmas t-shirt. So I don't think either of those are appropriate. So I'm going to find something to wear for tonight. Put it in a bag and then have it in my car. But I'm going to be leaving soon because traffic in Bournemouth, even though the main roadworks has stopped, they've put roadworks everywhere else. <laughs> so it's hectic. Um, that's where I'm going. I'm excited. I've had Haskins in the diary for months and um, been really excited about it because I love Haskins and I love Christmas and it's a festive afternoon tea at Haskins. I mean, what more could you want in life? <laughs>
I've had like the best day. It's been really good. It's been very stressful, not gonna lie. There's a lot of children involved and I was like trying to not get them in shots and everything. So I wanted to take pictures because I want to do a blog post and I want to like obviously put it in the video and I'm trying to not get children in and it's rather difficult because I don't know if I've told you but I went with the brownies and guys today to the water, excuse me, the Warner Brothers studio tour in London which was freaking insane. It was so good. I'm not even a big fan of like I've, I've legit seen the first film. I've seen the first film three times now. Um, I've never seen any of the others but do you know what that didn't bother me at all because I was just so, I was just like oh my god it was amazing because you know I love seeing films being made that just fascinates me and interests me and I'm so interested in it I could have honestly spent so much longer there I had an amazing day today it was so so good like but I just kind of want to keep it real here I think I had like an anxiety attack in the shop because I was like shaking I was struggling to breathe I couldn't I just it was awful there were so many people in the shop and it's and I was holding breakables and I just think I just I my mum was like I saw my mum and I was like caught, I called her over and I was just shaking and like I can't I can't do it I've got to leave and I'm I'm never anymore like that so that's great it's great I also and um but I'm in the car because my mum's getting Chinese takeaway guys so excited for Chinese food because it's like 10 to 8 and who can be bothered to cook now i think i might just tell you now because i don't know when i'm going to tell you otherwise but tomorrow i'm back up in london again my mum myself and my grandma we are off to the shard we are going for afternoon tea in the shard it's a mary poppins themed afternoon tea and i am so excited for all the food <laughs> yeah i'm so excited it was kind of a little bit it was a kind of a part of my birthday present um like going to the shard and having afternoon tea and it's mary poppins afternoon tea and mary poppins is one of my favorite disney films it's one of my mum's favorite disney films too so i am very excited about it it's going to be so good um so again up to london tomorrow very excited this has been a very like jam-packed week monday tuesday was like nothing going on wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday jam-packed crazy <laughs> um but yeah i i've loved it i've had so much fun i've had so much fun vlogging again like it's been forever since i've done this now hopefully mum's gonna be nearly up back with my food our food it's not just me um and yeah i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my evening mm -hmm. 